Hello everyone, my name is Yvetta. I'm a second degree black belt. This is my assistant, Messi. And welcome to our first class of martial arts training. Before we do anything though, make sure you like the video and smash that subscribe button. And I'll give you 10 seconds to do that. Ready? Go. Make sure you subscribe. Awesome. All right, so before we get started, I wanna go over a couple of commands that we're gonna use throughout this class. First one is gonna be lock it up. It's gonna be the, my most basic command. It's where we lock our hands and feet together just like this. So let's give it a little practice. I want you to open your hands, give it a little dance, and when I say lock it up, jump together. Ready? Your turn. Open your hands, move your hands, move a little dance, and lock it up. Just like that, awesome. The second one is gonna be taking a black belt knee. Whenever I say black belt knee, and sometimes I'll do two claps as well, you're gonna do two claps and take a knee, just like this. Clap, clap, onto one knee. Let's see, ready? Take a black belt knee. Oh, just like that, nice and fast. Let's see if you can be faster than my assistant messy. Ready? And black belt knee, go. Ooh, good job, that was awesome. All right, so for this class, I'll give you a little breakdown. We're first gonna go off over some fitness, then we're gonna do a little mat chat where we're gonna talk about a mindset topic. Then I'm gonna go over some skills on how to punch, how to kick. We're gonna play a virtual game and end it off with a self-defense. All right, let's get started. All right, time for the fitness portion. I'm gonna go over three main exercises that I may use in other, in other classes. First one's gonna be jumping jacks. Hands up, who's done a jumping jack before? Awesome, so if you put your hand up, that's great. You might have done it in PE class. If not, we're gonna go over it now. So first off, you're gonna put your hands and feet together, almost like you're a pencil. Then you're gonna open your feet, jump them apart, and then clap at the top, making almost like the letter A, and then jump back together. We're gonna do the first five together, and I'm gonna watch you guys do the last five on your own. Ready? One, clap at the top, and back down. Two, three, four, and five. Now the last five you're gonna do on your own. Ready? Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome, that last one looked great. Now let's move on to our push-ups. Hands up if you've done a push-up before. Awesome, so again, you might have done that in PE class or you've never done it before, that's okay. We're gonna go over it now. So we're gonna move down here onto the ground. When you go onto the ground, I wanna make sure your arms are out straight right in line with your shoulders. You're almost gonna make a bridge with your body. To start, you can always keep your knees on the ground like this, or you're gonna have your legs stick out just like this, all right? From here, this is top position. You wanna move all the way down to the bottom position where your stomach and chest is touching the ground. Now your goal is to lift your stomach off the ground first, keeping your back straight, almost like you have a glass of water in your back. So let's all get into this position in push-up position. You can see two angles right here. Start doing flat on the ground. Now, we're gonna push up together, getting our belly off the ground first. So push up and down. That's one. Go up, down. That's two. Push up, do your best, and down. Three, it may be a challenge. So you can always switch to your knees just like I'm gonna do now. Push up, like this, and down. Four, push up. And down, five. Now let's see if you guys can do the last five on your own, either on your knees like I demonstrated just now, or on your feet like I demonstrated in the beginning. Ready? One, up, and down. Good, make sure you put all your effort and push your body up. Ready? Up, and down. That's two, keep your back straight. Up, and down, awesome. Three, up, down, and this is your last one. This has got to be your best one now. Ready? And five. Push up and down. Awesome job. Everyone, air high five. Great. Now our last one is going to do sit-ups. We're going to stay on the ground here. And we're going to almost like put glue on our feet. Stick these feet down just like this. If you can copy me, that would be awesome. Just follow along. Now we're going to try to do the sit-up without your hands. You can either put them on your chin, cross your arms, or put them behind your back. All you can do is lie down, flat onto your back, and pull yourself up. A good reference is you're like pulling yourself up with a rope. You lie down, you grab a hold of the rope, and you pull yourself up. We're gonna do 10 of these together. First five I'll do with you, and the last five I'll do on your own. Ready? Hands up, behind your 
behind your back, across your arms, ready? Down, and up, that's one, down, up, two, take your time, down, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five. How's that? Might be a little tricky. Still finish it if you're trying to keep up, don't worry, it is a pretty tricky one. Now let's do the last five on your own. Ready? One. And up. Good. Two. And up. Three. And push it up. Pull up. And four. And your last one. Ready? Five. Give it your best. Use all your strength. Pull yourself up. Good job. All right. That's the end of our fitness part. Hopefully it wasn't too tricky. All right. Welcome to our mat chat. This is where we sit down and chat about the topic of the month. So go ahead, find somewhere comfortable. You can sit down right where you are, sit down on your bed or your couch, and just open your ears ready to listen. So, what we're talking about for this class is hustle for the muscle. We have worksheets you can download down in the description box, so go ahead, check it out. If you wanna have some nice black belt excellence, fill it out on your own time, and just to make yourself better. So, for hustle for the muscle, as the, as the title says, you want to work hard to get better, work hard to grow big muscles, get stronger and faster. Specifically, what we're going to talk about is how you do something being more valuable than how many or how much of it you do. So quality over quantity. Those are really big words. Hands up, have you ever heard of the word quantity before? Yeah, it's definitely a tricky word. So if you put up your hand, that's awesome. If not, don't worry. Quantity is, again, how much you do. So if you have, say for example, one donut, that's a low quantity. If it's 100 donuts, it's a high quantity. One french fry, low quantity. 1,000 french fries, high quantity. One push-up, low quantity. 100 push-ups, high quantity. I'm sure you get the idea. Now, quality is something a little different. Hands up. Who's heard of the word quality before? That's awesome if you did. So quality is how well you do something. Quality, say for example, uh, a quality cookie will be one that's delicious, chewy, and good to eat. You like it. A low quality cookie though might be one that's crunch, uh, too crunchy, maybe burns, not good to eat, you don't like it. A high quality push-up is one maybe a black belt does. A low quality push-up might be one that your little sibling might do like a two-year-old or something like that. Not so good, right? So quality is how nice or how well it is. Now, what do you think is more important? One, being quality, or two, being quantity? Show me with your fingers. If you said quality, then you are right. Quality is actually more important. If you were to do a hundred really bad push-ups, you're not gonna get stronger from that. But if you needed one to 10 really good black belt push-ups, you're gonna get stronger. So it's more important that you're focused on how you do it than how many you do. If we're practicing punches, punches later, make sure your punches are perfect or at least you're focusing on how you're doing them versus how many you're doing, just throwing them out as fast as you can, okay? So again, the topic we're talking about is quality over quantity. All right, everyone, lock it up, hands and feet together. Hopefully you remember that. If not, just remember putting your hands and feet together and standing still. So as I'm talking, you can hold that position just like my assistant Messi. So now we're gonna go over our techniques. First, on how to punch. If you know how to punch, great. But if you don't know, this is where it comes in. First, we need to know how to make a fist. So I want everyone to show me your hands out just like this. I'm gonna wait. Awesome. Now curl the tips of your fingers, just the top. Good, just like that. Now curl them again so you have half a fist pretty much. Now put your thumbs in front of your fingers. It's important that you put them like this and not inside or on top, okay? So under your fingers. Now take a look at your hands. Do they look like this? Yes, awesome. So now that we have our fist, you can take another look and notice these two big knuckles. There are knuckles on the bottom and knuckles on the top. I want you to focus on these two big ones. This is what you're gonna be hitting with. So if you have a target at home, this
this is what you would use to hit the target. If you use these little ones down here or on the side, you might actually hurt your hand. So it's important that we use these two big ones. All right, now let's get started. First, we're gonna focus on the rotation of our fist. So I want you to raise your hands to your chin. This is our simple station one position. And stick your thumbs up as if you're doing a thumbs up. Good, now we're gonna extend one of our hands, keeping that thumb up in front of us, just like that. Awesome, now bring it back. And then out, and back. Out, and back, awesome. Now let's twist our thumb at the end and bring it back. So only at the end, not in the beginning, at the end, watch. Out and twist and bring it back. Out and twist and bring it back. Out and twist and back. Out and twist and back. If you're a little confused, feel free to go back and re-watch that portion, all right? Now you can go ahead and tuck in your thumbs in front like we had them before. And now let's try that with our thumbs closed, ready? Stick it out and back. And back, still rotating at the very end of our punch and bringing it back. All right, there you go. You just learned how to punch properly. The reason why we do that rotation at the end, it keeps our elbows tucked in. We don't want chicken wings, do we, right? So we want to keep those elbows tucked in, and as we're punching, we can keep a straight punch. Now, should we punch like this with our feet standing still? Not really, this isn't a good position to punch. So now we're gonna go over our fighting stance, just like that. So, I want you to take one leg, I like my right leg, and I'm gonna step it behind me, keeping my toes facing forward and my front knee bent. From here, I'm gonna put my hands up in front of me. I don't want it down here, nor do I want it up here. I want it right in front of me, okay? Let's see if you can do that for me. Good. Does your feet look like mine or Messi's? We have different legs behind, so it should look like one of these. And our hand, your hand should be up. Does it look good? Awesome. Now we're gonna practice which hand is our jab hand. Jab is the fast punch. It's the hand going first to the target. Which hand do you think is gonna be first, our front hand or our back hand? If you said front hand, you're correct. Front hand is going to reach first to the target. So for my system here, it will be this hand, and for my hand, it will be this hand. If you don't know which one it is for you, figure out which foot's in front. My left foot's in front, so that same hand is in front. If your right foot's in front, that same hand is in front. All right? Now, when you punch a jab, it's just like we just practiced. Extend and bring it back. When I say jab, I want you to show me as fast as you can a quick jab like this. Ready? Jab. Jab, jab, good. Do you think you can keep up with my assistant, Massey? Let's see. Jab, jab, jab. Great job. Now, if we want to add power to our punch, we got to breathe. As if you were in a library and you go like, shh. If you can make that sound with some power like this, shh, then you're going to add more power to your punch. Let's try it. Ready? Jab, shh, jab, shh, jab. Awesome job. Now let's do our cross punch. It's our second hand and now our power hand. So make sure you're using your back hand, okay? Whichever lines up with your back leg. When you do your cross, make sure you also twist your hips to add that power. If that's a little too far, that's okay. Just stick with the rotation of your fists. Ready? When I say cross, I want you to extend your arm and bring it back. Ready? Cross. Ready? Cross! 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 Awesome job. Now let's put it together. We're going to do jab first and cross. Jab is going to be always first because it's the closest hand and the fastest hand. So all it's going to look like is jab, cross. And if you add some speed, just like that. Ready? Jab, cross! Jab, cross! Jab, cross! Now where are you breathing? Make sure I hear you. Ready? Jab, cross! Jab cross, jab cross. Great job. Now, that is our basis of how to punch. We're gonna go over how to kick. First of all, it's not like a soccer kick. For a soccer kick, you bring your knee up behind and try to kick down to the ground. We're not kicking the ground here. We're trying to kick in front of us. So we have to bring our knee up. 
This is called a chamber. Let's see if you guys can hold a chamber without falling down. Ready, bring your knee up and hold. 10 seconds. Five more seconds, keep going. If you drop it, don't give up. Bring it back up. Three, two, one, and down. Awesome job. Now, the key to a fast kick is bringing that knee up fast. So you're gonna go into your fighting stance with your hands up, and when I say chamber, all I want you to do is bring your knee up and back down as fast as you can. Ready? Chamber. Let's see how fast. I want you to go faster than Messi. Ready? Chamber. Ooh, even faster. Let's go. Chamber. 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 Nice. Now we're gonna add the kick. You're gonna bring your knee up, extend your foot, and bring it back. It's important that you bring your, keep your knee up after the kick. So when you kick your target, you're not just stepping down. That's a lazy kick. We want to be able to snap our legs. So kick and bring it back down. Okay? Let's try it. Knee up, extend, out, and down. Those are our three steps. Again, chamber, out, uh, back, and down. One more time. Chamber, out, back, and down. Nice. Now let's see if we can speed it up. Ready? Chamber out, back, down. Ooh, could you keep up with that? Let's do it again. Ready? And go. Chamber out, back, down. Good. Now let's do five of those kicks together. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Now it's time for you to do it on your own. Ready? One, two, Bring that knee up. Three. Faster. Four. And your last one, make it your best. Five. Great job. All right, now we're gonna put our punches and our kick together. We're gonna do jab, cross, then front kick, and it's gonna make it a combo, a combination of moves. So go into your fighting stance. Good, now let's do it nice and slow. Jab, your front hand punch. Cross, your back hand punch. Then bring your knee up, chamber, and kick. And down. Now let's do it a little faster. Ready? Jab, cross, and front kick. Good. Now all together, go. Good. Let's see how fast you can go. Ready? And go. Good. Ready? And gorilla. Oh, did I get you? Okay, reset the fighting stance. Ready? And go. Nice. If you can keep up, that was awesome. All right, now we're gonna see if you can remember three combos. Combo one, two, and three. You actually already know combo one and two. All it is is jab cross for combo one and jab cross front kick for combo two. So let's try it. When I say combo one, I wanna see jab cross. When I say combo two, I wanna see jab cross front kick. Ready? Combo one, go! Combo one, go. Combo two, go. If you want to add extra power, go ahead and yell during the kick. Ready? Combo two, go. Nice. Let's see. Combo one. Combo two, go. One. One. Combo two, go. Great job. All right. Now our last combo is combo three. Nothing crazy. All it is is jab, cross, and it's knee. So it's like half a kick. You don't extend your leg, you just bring your knee up. So let's try it together. Jab, cross, knee. Good. Now let's do it a little faster. Ready? Jab, cross, knee. Good. Now I'm gonna say go, and I want you to do all three moves. Ready? Go. Again, ready? And go! Yeah. Nice! Everyone, big high five. And that's it for our skill portion. All right, welcome back. So now we're gonna be doing a quick water break. You have 30 seconds, go grab a sip of water, wherever it is. If you don't need to, just wait for 30 seconds. Ready? Go, 30 seconds. Hurry up! Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
One. Awesome. So hopefully you got up your water and you've come back now. Now we're going to switch over to a virtual game. The game will show you the instructions and all you have to do is follow along. Alright? Good luck and have fun. Alright guys, we're going to play virtual big dog. Now you guys have done this in the class many times. When I say big dog, we run away from the dogs. Um, if I say clothesline, you have to duck. If I say fence, you have to jump. Okay? Follow me. So we're going to start running first. Oh, big dog! Run fast, run fast, the dog is coming! Okay, good, the dog disappeared. Let's keep jogging again. Oh, I see a fence! Fence! Oh, another fence! Fence! Alright, first fence. Start jogging. Oh, here comes the clothesline, so you get a duck! And another clothesline, duck! Oh, big dog! Okay, good, okay, the dogs got tired. Perfect. Alright, running, 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 running. Oh, I see a fence. 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 Oh, clothesline. Clothesline. Uh, big dogs! There's a whole bunch of them all over the place. Quick, take some meat and, and throw it away. Throw some meat. Alright, good. They went after the meat. Alright, perfect. Good job, guys. We are done. All right, welcome back. Go ahead and take a black on me. Awesome, hopefully you will remember that. Now, how was your virtual game? Did you have fun? Was it good? It'd be too easy. Let's do a harder one next time, okay? All right, hopefully you had fun. And now, we're gonna move on to the last portion of our class, our self-defense. We're gonna be doing a simple self-defense called a wrist escape. All that's gonna happen is an attacker is gonna grab your wrist, and you have to escape from that. Now I'm gonna give you a chance to go grab a partner, a friend, a sister, a brother, a sibling, or a parent to come help you. I'll give you 30 seconds, go. Just anyone who can help. You got 20 more seconds.
bigger opponent. I'm gonna grab her wrist, and now what's the first thing you do? Good, strong stance. Can I pull her? No, even though I'm bigger, I still can't pull her, no matter how strong I am. Now, what's the next step? Grabbing her own hand, make it 2v1. Now my thumb is on the bottom. That means she has to pull up or down. That's right, pulling down. Ready, and give it a try. Good, high five. And high five to you guys too. All right, great job everyone. Hopefully you had fun and it was enough of the challenge. If you are excited for more lessons, there should be more classes coming up soon. And before anything, let's bow out of our class. Like to put your feet together and your arms out. Bow, say I did my best. Awesome, so hopefully you had fun and it was enough of the challenge. If you really liked it, you have two options. One, click the link in the description and you can try one of our free, uh, free Zoom class. And second, you, if you live in the neighborhood or nearby of our studio, Richmond Martial Arts, we are located in Richmond, British Columbia, Canada. Then you can come in person and try a live class here with us. And I think that's about it for today. Goodbye, everyone. Have a nice day.